Thursday the 8th of August 2024 First reading Reading from the book of Jeremiah See, the days are coming, it is the Lord who speaks, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, but not a covenant like the one I made with their ancestors on the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. They broke that covenant of mine, so I had to show them who was master. It is the Lord who speaks. No, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel when those days arrive. It is the Lord who speaks. Deep within them I will plant my law, writing it on their hearts. Then I will be their God and they shall be my people. There will be no further need for neighbor to try to teach neighbor, or brother to say to brother, learn to know the Lord. No, they will all know me, the least no less than the greatest. It is the Lord who speaks, since I will forgive their iniquity and never call their sin to mind. Responsorial Psalm A pure heart create for me, O God. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. A pure heart create for me, O God. Give me again the joy of your help. With the spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. A pure heart create for me, O God. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Than offering from me you would refuse. By sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. A pure heart create for me, O God. Gospel Cremation Alleluia, Alleluia The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. Alleluia Gospel Reading from the book of Matthew When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi he put this question to his disciples Who do people say the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say he is John the Baptist some Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? Then Simon Peter spoke up, you are the Christ, he said, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, Simon son of Jonah, you are a happy man, because it was not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. So I now say to you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. Then he gave the disciples strict orders not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. From that time Jesus began to make it clear to his disciples that he was destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes to be put to death and to be raised up on the third day then taking him aside peter started to remonstrate with him heaven preserve you lord he said this must not happen to you but he turned and said to peter get behind me satan you are an obstacle in my path because the way you think is not god's way but man's gospel of the lord